Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of Tech Tips. My name is Byron and today we're going to discuss elliptical walls. Specifically, how can we get an elliptical wall to be framed with our MWF software? And it's a great question. It comes up fairly often. I mean, we want to see some elliptical walls in models. It happens. How do we resolve that? How do we frame them? And uh, let's get into it a little bit. So if we want to create a wall that's elliptical we don't really have that as an option we have circle which is about as close as we can get but not quite an ellipse and we have some curved arced walls again not quite elliptical right so what are the options how would we achieve it well we could use a generic mass and I suppose by doing that we could get a wall placed on the face of an elliptical mass. That shouldn't be so hard, so let's call this mass walls. And we'll set that work plane all the way to the base of that wall. And we'll choose, now we can see there's an ellipse option there for us. So we'll choose ellipse. And let's get this done like that. And we'll create the 3D solid form going all the way to the top there we go took me a while to get that there we go finish that so we've got a mass it's not a not a wall yet but how about we make it a wall now or how about we add some walls so let's go here again to walls and we will choose wall by face this is great. It, it does come in handy for sure. Uh, the only problem is we're going to see some things that are a little bit different. Let's look at some of these properties, especially in the constraints and structural uh, headers. We don't really have a lot going on there. Um, they're not quite like our typical Revit wall. In fact, if I try to frame it, Sadly, it's just not going to work. I, I select it, but you know, it, it just doesn't accept it. If I go over here, though, you'll see this one. That one will get framed, no problem. These guys, they will not. And another thing we'll notice is that, look, this guy, he's kind of fun. We can do uh, a lot of stuff with this wall. You know, we can, we can stretch it. We can change its height. These, on the other hand, are pretty stagnant. Uh, what I've got is what I've got, and I'm stuck with it. All right, so we've seen that generic masses trying to do a wall by face. It's not going to work. It's sad. It's unfortunate. We want it to work. It just doesn't. So you might be thinking to yourself, well, hey, what if I use model lines? And I, I do sort of a, a wall by line. And this is a good idea. Um, Let's give it a, let's explore the option. I mean, I'll do a, a regular line there, and I'll do our elliptical line here, just so we have some uh, some variance. We can see what's going on. Again, again I'm going to choose my wall, and I'm going to go to my, my architectural wall. You can use your structural wall. It doesn't really matter. And I'm going to pick lines. So there's the pick lines option. There it is. Oh, hey, that's interesting. Um, but uh, I can't seem to grab anything here. It will not let me place a wall on this line. I want it to. I really wish it could, but it just won't. Straight lines, no problem. Squares, circles, you name it, no problem. Ellipses, forget about it. And this this one's good. This is this is just like this wall here. Um, we can actually, you know, panelize it. So it's interesting. You can use model lines and you could place walls by line. This might be interesting even if you have your, your CAD file uh, linked in. You can just, you know, place your walls by the CAD lines. That works well. But we still haven't figured out a solution. How can I frame an elliptical wall? So my solution, go to AutoCAD. Hopefully you have AutoCAD. And what you'll want to do is change the setting. We're going to actually create a, an ellipse in AutoCAD. First step though, P ellipse, 
make sure it's set to 1. Not 0, P ellipse 1. And I'll show you why. So we're going to do our ellipse. P ellipse value is set to 1. And let's take a look at it. Look at all these nodes that are created. Looks interesting, right? So what happens if I do an ellipse with the setting set to zero? Here's what happens. Four nodes and the center node, that's it. If I link this into a Revit file, it's not going to work. If I link this into a Revit file, something interesting might happen. So if I like this ellipse, this is the ellipse we want, I'm going to save it, and then I'm going to link it into my Revit file. Now I've already gone ahead and linked it, linked an ellipse into my Revit file here. You can see this is a DWG, and here it is. I am now going to attempt to frame it. Again, I'm going to choose the pick lines method. And oh, hey, look at that. I am now able to place no walls node to node. But are they the same type of walls that MWF can understand and control and manipulate? I think they are. Quick create. Looks to be doing something. There it is. We have a framed elliptical wall. Really nice. Great. And it's the only method I'm aware of we can do it. But as you can see, it seems to produce some nice results. We might want to play with our stud spacing somewhat, but overall I think we could be quite happy with this. And that was Tech Tips. This was Byron. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye now.